Welcome to Julie's Kitchen. Today we're going to make energy bars. We're going to make them ourselves so we can control everything that goes with them and they're absolutely fabulous. They're good for you. Um, hopefully I'm um, helping you um, put lots of, lots of wonderful things in your pantry so they'll be accessible things in your pantry. And really we're heading into the holidays and to have these um, in your home for the kids or your husband or you to eat um, when you're grazing looking for something is key. So we're going to mix the dry ingredients here. Let me show you what we've got. We're going to start here with coconut. One cup of coconut. And closest to the source, we always want to source our ingredients the best we can find. So look for the coconut. It's unsweetened um, and organic if you can. Sesame seeds. One cup of sesame seeds. All right, really, really healthy for you. Always use sesame seeds and things um, to give it a little boost, energy boost for you. Oats, organic oats, one cup. One cup of plain sunflower seeds, no salt, just plain raw sunflower seeds, organic if you can, if you can find them. They should be easy to find. One cup of cacao, chocolate in the raw. Okay, you don't want to eat a plain, it doesn't taste that great. It tastes fabulous in other things, okay, because the sweetness you put along with it, your natural sweeteners, will sweeten this up. This is a superfood, okay, so cacao in the raw. These are cacao nibs, okay, one cup of those. One cup of chopped pecans, okay, there you get some nice fat, healthy fat here. One cup of dried cranberries or um, a dried fruit of your choice. I like the tartness of the cranberries. Okay. A half a cup of pepitas or pumpkin seeds. If you look at these, these are the green little pepita pumpkin seeds and they make a nice crunch. They have the white ones that we traditionally know. Um, these are the ones you really want for your bars. Half a cup of that. And then a half a cup of ground flax seeds. And I told you this before, buy your flax seeds and grind them as you go. So I just ground these in the coffee mill. If you don't have a coffee mill, get one. Because the omega-3s, the omega-6s, you release them in, in the little holes and they're ready to use. You don't want to buy it ground. You want to grind it yourself so you get all the nutrients for you and it isn't lost in the package. Okay, half a cup of that. These are our dry ingredients. We're going to mix them up and add them to our wet. Okay, just get a nice big mix here. Okay, now we're at the wet ingredients, and the wet ingredients are very important in the bars because that's what makes the bars bars. Okay, we've got all the dry mixture here. It looks beautiful. Take a look here at the dry mixture all mixed up. All right, looks like a fantastic granola. Now we're going to get it to stick together. And the nice thing is we've had control of all the ingredients here, okay? So that's the key here. Now our wet ingredients I have here um, over the stove, I put one cup of honey. Okay, now if you look here, I've got a local raw honey. Honey is a huge thing about being under your control. Okay, you want local and you want raw. Always buy your honey raw. If you can't find it local, at least get it raw. And um, the other honeys you find in the grocery stores and stuff have been processed and it's, and it's as bad as having refined sugar. They've just taken all the good out of it. So um, try to get your local honey, okay, from your farmer's markets, your favorite um, health food groceries, it's around. You'll find it. Um, you will put do uh, two teaspoons of vanilla, once again, closest to the store. So you want you get to get your the best you can find, okay? Pure vanilla extract. All right, find your favorite. Two cups of peanut butter, okay? Peanut butter, your nut butters, um, you're best making them yourself. So if you have a Vitamix, you can make them, um, which is, um, but the key is the peanuts. Our peanut source, just like our honey, has been sort of sabotaged in our country. So it's really the peanut source. So you've got to really know your peanut butters and what you like, any of your nut butters, but peanut butter in particular, because the peanuts are the ones that have been contaminated in a big way. So I can tell, my kids can tell, my husband can tell, we can always tell by the taste. So we have found this at Costco, this peanut butter, natural. All your peanut butter should say one ingredient, peanuts, nothing else, just peanuts. You can make it yourself if you have something to make it in, like a Vitamix. So you can make your own if you can find great organic peanuts, which you can find, but you do, once again, have to source them. Two cups of great peanut butter. Okay, so start, you know, being really choosy about your peanut butter, even if you have to make it. Really, really important here. So two cups of peanut butter. 
and then a nice sea salt and there's lots of them out there also reach the, research those it's very important to have a great salt okay not a processed salt a natural sea salt okay so these are ingredients you can see here I just put them above um, on the flame here and got it nice and warm mixed up here peanut butter honey salt and vanilla that's it okay and we're going to take them take our mixture here and pour it into our dry ingredients can you see here easy and this is the glue so you want to make sure that you read my my um recipe really clearly on the website and to make sure you get all this glue part correct because if you don't have enough honey or you don't have enough peanut butter your bars are not going to be bars you're going to have sort of a granola and you want bars you can wrap them up and put them in the pantry take them to work put them in the school lunches they are fantastic and they were better than any bar you will ever buy okay and mix this up and you are on your way to your own energy bars and it makes quite a few and you don't need very big bars they're full of amazing fats and energies um, that will really satiate you or who's ever eating them. So um, you will be thrilled with this. Um, and you have had complete control of the quality of the peanut butter, the honey, the nuts, the grains. It's all in your control and you don't know that and you haven't had to pay for any trucking, packaging, you know, of the bars themselves. So they, um, they might seem a little bit expensive because of all these ingredients, but it is a high, high, high quality energy bar that tastes fantastic. So um, you gotta work here, let me mix it up. And we'll put it in the pan. Okay, so here we are. We've um, mixed it all up and we put it in the nine by 13. And you can see it's so beautiful. It's really beautiful to look at. And you just put it, it doesn't have to be greased or anything. And um, you can feel it. It's all set up. You know, you've got, you've got the right amount of wet ingredients, our honey and our peanut butter. Um, it's going to set up really nicely for you. So you pack it in your 9x13. Okay. Just like so. And we're going to bake it at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. And then when it comes out of the oven, and that's just sort of to set it. We're not really cooking it. We're just setting it. Um, you're going to let it cool and then you're going to cut it into bars. I cut them into pretty small little bars like them and wrap them um, in saran wrap and because the little bit goes a long way so um, at the end of your lunch and you're looking for something sweet or, or your kids or whoever you're packing lunch for for yourself it's just enough or um, something that during the middle of the day you're busy you've just had a workout it's perfect it's a great great energy bar and once again you have had complete control of what goes in it. And that is really, really something to know that you're any, any bars. You've selected everything that's gone into it and you know what that is. So we're going to put it in the oven. You're going to put it in the oven and you're going to get them out, cool them and wrap them up. And then you're going to enjoy them. And if you want to make a comment to me on my site or anything, please do because I, I would love to hear if you guys like what I'm doing. If you have suggestions about things you'd like to see me do, I'd love to do that. Um, www.julieballew.com V-I-E-L-L-I-E-U and I hope you enjoy Julie's Energy Bars. Have a great day.